Really good. Really good. Really good. Really good. Boys, what about bingo? Have you ever been to bingo? Once. Once you went? <laughs> I was working in Spain. I went once. I was filming. Oh, Enjoy, yeah. yeah. Enjoy the experience? Yeah, it, was, it was different. You've yeah. got to try everything yeah. once, don't you? Yeah. Well, more than once for me. What about you? It's amazing, because the only time I've heard play was in Spain as well. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a package holiday at yeah. one o'clock in the morning. They're playing bingo by the pool, and they turned around and went back home again. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you shouldn't have. Well, I used to go with my mum, ladies and my late mum, and I absolutely loved it. The excitement, the buzz that you get there in the bingo hall. And the characters that you get there too. Well, we've got a gentleman who's won Bingo Caller of the Year here. Let's find out more from him as we welcome Carl Sith. Yeah. Hello, Carl. Hello. Lovely to have Thank you here. Thank you very much. Sorry, Hello. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. Bingo <laughs> Caller of the Year. Oh, <laughs> That's tell us right. a bit about that then, Carl. Well, it was a competition. It's held every year. It's uh -huh. sponsored by the National Game Association mm -hmm. of Britain. And uh, they find the best caller in the country. Every year. And you won it. I won it, yeah. This Did it make you feel good? Did you jump up and down? Or? Well, it made my job worthwhile. Yeah, sure. absolutely. Yeah. Well, let's see if you're a worthwhile shopper. So okay. take your bag out and show you what I've got. Have a little bit of a go there. Okay. Yes. And looking at all these goodies, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget we've got a competition coming up later. Chance for you to win a £300 gourmet bar. Oh, lovely, lovely. Hamper, that's going to be a bit nice, isn't wonderful. it? Eh? Tell us what you've brought along here. Right, well, I've got uh, chicken thighs here because uh, my wife's Indian, she's mm -hmm. here, though, she doesn't eat mm -hmm. beef, uh -huh. um, and she likes to cook curries and that sort of thing, mm. and uh, we find that chicken thighs taste best. Mm. Um, I've also got sweet potato here because I was, you know, shopping around in the supermarket and I thought, sweet potato, people eat sweet potato, why? You know, yeah. Let me try it, it yeah. might be nice. Uh, and then I came across a leek. Now, I don't like leek, not yeah. really, but um, I thought I'd challenge you. And see yeah, how did, did you, you find did... the cheese? How did you come across that, then? Well, well in the middle of the Oh, look, there's been cheese. <laughs> 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 how much did you spend along with the cauliflower and the pepper, Carl? This all came to five pounds and four pence. Yeah, actually. we're not going to moan about that. Like that, Chef? Are you happy with that? Yeah, lovely. Some great stuff there. We're going to mm. have a whale of a time. Great. Ooh, great. Interesting things. Now, you wouldn't have won your position if it wasn't for the next person coming on the show, would That's you? That's right. I'll tell you why. It's because she was one of the judges. She year. was one of the yeah. judges. Ooh, serious stuff, ladies and gentlemen. And also a former Bingo Caller winner. Please welcome Mandy Gordon. <laughs> Good gang. Good gang, isn't it? Oh, oh, how are you, man? Lovely to have you on the show. Hi, nice to meet mm. you. Oh, what was the special qualities about him then, Mandy? Well, can't, well you've met him. Mm. He's uh, well spoken. Mm. Um, we just thought he'd be a good ambassador for the bingo game for the next 12 months. Yeah, that's good. And he goes <laughs> off. He's got a few things to come there. He's got to go off to Vegas and all that, yes, hasn't he? Yes, he's got wow. that all I'm going to tell come. you all about that a little bit later on. Let's see uh, what type of shopper you are then, Mandy. Give it a good old shake for us. Oh, now, what have we got here? Special carrots, uh, Matthew? I bought uh, Chantenay carrots. Yeah. Because they're the family's favourites, the mm. sweet carrots, but we just run out of ideas of how to cook them. Mm, you change them up a little um, bit. Bought lamb chump chops. We usually cook with either chicken or beef, and I'm not quite sure what to do with the lamb. So mm. I thought I'd bring it along. Maybe a few ideas. And these are just general things that we've got all the time in the fridge. Yeah. That you you just have all the time, you don't know what to do well, with. Well, run of beans, a few plums in there, three onion and uh, potato. How much did you spend? Five pound and two pence. Oh, <laughs> yes. What do you think, Rossi? Yeah, I think there's plenty of, op of opportunities there. We'll have a, mm. have a good think, yeah. Yeah, there's lots going on, he's saying. I, mean, <laughs> oh, I bet you can't wait, can can't you? Can't wait. Oh, 24 carrots, 24. <laughs> two lamb chops, two. 17 <laughs> run of beans, 17. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment, all right. <laughs> well, you're not going to win it next year, that's I for know. certain. <laughs> I'm too rubbish. What are you going to do for Carl over here, then? Well, there's so much you can actually do with that. Uh, we, we're going to make... I think we're probably use a chicken and scallops. We take the bone out of one, we make like a teriyaki grilled with the second one, and with the other two, we don't do too much work, we perhaps just chop those in half and make a, a cream sauce, perhaps a cauliflower mm. cream sauce. Obviously, we're going to do cauliflower cheese, so we'll stick that perhaps in half the pepper. Mm. We've got to make some kind of soup. I have the bone spare here. I've got some chicken stock there, so we've got lots of vegetables. we make a soup, and uh, then perhaps a little stir-fry with half of that and... The leak. I mean, there's so much you can do. I know. We couldn't possibly have special dispensation and an hour to do this, could we? No, 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 I'm sorry. Shall we give them an that. hour? Yeah. No! Oh, 20 minutes, that's we the rules, isn't it? No, how does that sound? 
That sounds great. It sounds delicious already. Yeah, yeah. OK. Yeah. Well, you'll be helping him, so it will all turn out wonderful, Carl. But what about you then, Mandy? <laughs> Let's find out what Ross has got. Terribly healthy on this, isn't it? You, mm. can, you can understand the sylph-like figure. Yeah. We've got the hero, I guess, here are the two lamb chump chops. So the first one, we're going to take the plums. And because there's not a lot, lot of plum there to make a pudding, we're going to make a spicy, rich plum glaze to go with that mm -hmm. with some nice fresh green beans. OK. The other one, potato and, and lamb, obviously says hot pot. Won't mm -hmm. be as good as Betty's, obviously, but we'll, we'll, we'll try. Yes. We'll make, we're going to sort of deconstruct it and put it back together. Uh, we're going to do something interesting with the beans later in, in a sort of a salad type way, and we're going to make carrots vichy. Wow. And we'll find out what those are later. Mm. Sounds, sounds fabulous. Sounds good. OK, both our bingo experts or callers are delighted, but how will they feel in 20 minutes? We'll find out. As I say, ready, steady, cook. OK, up, up and away. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, we've got a competition. Yes, I know all of you out there thinking, what competition? A £300 hamper could be yours. Leslie's asking you the simple cooking question today and you could win that prize. But first, it's over to Brian. A couple of chickens going to be in the old teriyaki. We've got stir fries going here. We've got cauliflower cheese. We've got another one that Bone's going to be taking. Out. It's going to be interesting to see how he bones that. Over here, two different styles of lamb. One's going to be in a kind of Betty's Lancashire hot pot, I think Ross Black referred handle. to it as. That's going to be interesting. Another one's going to be cooked down with a lovely plum glaze. We've got the runner beans in the salad. We've got fishy carrots and we've got some delicious potatoes. About 10 dishes in all. Lots of lovely ideas. All happening in 20 minutes. What more do you want? It's all here, isn't it, guys? OK, Chef. What are we starting off with here, then? Well, I'm just going to cut my meat up so I know what I've got. Mm. That's for teriyaki. That I'm going to bone and this... Mm from our little cream stew. Mm. So let's get a pan on now. And put a pan on for the old soup. That's that one. OK. Uh, we want a little stew pan for the chicken sauté that our students in the audience will all know about now. OK, then. Oh. Let's get now, a, a little bit of butter of a... And do you eat chicken how many times a week, would you say, Chef? Well, if we discount... Uh, fried chicken on the way home about once. <laughs> if we count that, about ten times. Oh, well. No, I, I don't do too badly. I quite like chicken these days. It's, uh, you know, mm. you've got to buy the right chicken. Uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. Gotta OK, now what about careful. boning here, Chef? Tell us the secret This about... nice, perhaps a little bit large here. and mm. We're quite lucky with this piece here, because mm. it's really... It's showing us that bone quite well, so we just go around... And all you just feel around the end of the bone. Sure. Because we're going to tap it out a little bit, it won't mm. matter if we made a few extraneous cuts. We just don't want to cut through. And then we're going to put some breadcrumbs on that as well. So Lovely. That will make it into a nice little scallop, will that? Now, I know that you deal with a lot of free-range meat in the restaurant, uh, in your restaurant, Chef. Yep. What about people buying it? What should they look for? What, what, what do you recommend? Well, you've got to really look for a label these days to get mm. free-range. And mm. you've got to understand them. The problem is some labels are a little bit... Uh, they take you down the wrong direction they, mm. they suggest. There's the old red tractor. That's a good thing. Yeah. Farm assured. Make sure it's British, and if you can make sure it's local and being free range, so much the better. You just got to read the label and see okay, what actually says. Find out a little bit. Or you've got the consumer desk in your supermarket, and we tend to walk past them and think, what well, they stand in there for doing nothing? They're there for you guys. Any complaints, anything that you want them to get in, they're there for you. They want to make sure that we get the right products in. Okay, we're talking about a little bit of the old teriyaki. Um, <clears throat> what have we got there? Soy honey, chef, and yes, I got honey, soy, and I got some <coughs> sesame seed oil. So mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's how are you doing there, chef? All right, okay, so lovely. That thing, that's looking good. He's done very well. And normally we're going to marinate that for well, we'd like to do it overnight. It's going to be about what five, six minutes, isn't that's it? That's right, yeah. I'm five, just, six minutes is better than no I'm time at all. How are you feeling? Over, comfortable Ains? there? Are you okay. Do you want to get rid of these little bits here? No, no, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Turn okay, the then. board over, Ainsley. So okay. Have, I've turned the board over. Okay. Watch good point there. All everybody out there, if you're young, you're cooking at home, and you're thinking. Oh, I can go and make me sandwich after you've got raw chicken on it. Wash it down or turn the board over as the chef's just done, all right? You don't want raw meat on there. Let's find out how Ross is uh, getting on with his potatoes there. Uh, before we get into the tatty, tell us about the old mandolin, chef. Well, the old mandolin, in fact, it's called a mandolin. You think, why is it a mandolin? It's a large square object. Mm -hmm. um, it, originally, it's an Italian thing called a, a mandolin because it used to have um, strings on it for cutting pasta. It looked right. like a mandolin. Uh -huh. And, in fact... Um, the other the word in Italian is, is chitarra, like guitar. Ah, oh, right. And we use it for basically for slicing and shredding and what have you. Just browning those off. I'm getting these onions to go. Mm-hmm. And um, would you recommend someone going out and buying one? They're not cheap, Ross. No, they're about 100 quid. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's really very useful in a commercial kitchen. Um, the trouble is, if you buy... There are cheaper Japanese ones, but they... 
Watch your fingers. Watch your They're, fingers. They are oh, lethal. They That's do come lethal. with a little attachment to protect your fingers, but yeah, we but tend to leave them lazy. in the back of the cupboard, yeah. yeah. Be careful, guys. They're out there. They're a fraction of the price. You probably pick them up 10, 15 quid or something. If that, yeah. OK, yeah, not great. very expensive, but you do get lovely sliced potatoes and stuff like that. 15 and a half minutes to go, gentlemen. Gosh, where does so it what go? are we making with these tatties right, then? I'm just going to get Manny now to desist from those. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you a cutter. I want you to cut some circles for me very quickly. Oh, lovely. OK. I think that's probably about the right size. Just bin the, bin the rest. OK, put them on your board, and I just want loads of round circles, OK? Right. Thank you very much. Wasn't that nice? Hey, oh, look at these. And uh, do you like these carrots then, Ross? What are they uh, called? Yeah, you can bang them into, into the blanching Shortening. water, if you would. <laughs> OK, then, straight into the blanching water. water. Well, they'll all cook at different times, so we'll wait till we get a good old... Here we are, pull them all there. It's like a bit of a, a little factory going here, isn't it, eh? We've got a system Me and somewhere, you. I'm sure. <laughs> so how long have you been bingo calling, then? Um, I've been calling Bingo for about three years. Yeah. But uh, I've actually worked at the club where I work for um, ten years this year, actually. Ah, nice people. Fabulous people. Yeah. I know that there's a couple of uh, students around where I live and they go out on bingo night. It's the happening thing at the moment, isn't it's it? It's actually become quite popular in the stu with students yeah. because um, it's a reasonably priced night out. Yeah. Uh, you don't finish too late. Go have a chance to meet up with your mm. with your friends, have a chat, and, and possibly take home more money than you went out with, which never happens when you go to the pub. Oh, <laughs> this is true. This is true. And have you ever won anything then, Mandy? I don't get a chance to play. I'm oh. always on the other side of the microphone. Oh, I know, <laughs> just calling them out. But do you have a certain style, though, don't you? It's each to their own. Everyone, you know, depending where you're from as well. Sure, you know, What sure. goes down well in one area will go over the head of somebody, you know, Absolutely. somewhere else. Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, all right now, darling, we'll Ooh. talk again. Nice catching okay. up with you, Mandy. Chef is dipping these in butter. Then one of the reasons he's cut them out into a disc is what? Let's find out from Ross. Well, you know Betty's Hot Pot has a, has a, a, t a pota sliced potato lid? Yeah. Well, but there's a thing called pomana, you see, which is sort of stuck together, and they stuck together, sit together with the starch and a bit of butter. And I thought perhaps we'd try a little one of these to top, right. to top up, rather than, you know, as deconstruct it. Mmm. Beautiful. Now, you mentioned Betty's Hot Pot. Is, is, is that uh, something, someone that you know called Betty, or what? We all know Betty. No, 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 no. Yeah, Carnation. Cor 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 Nation Street. Street. Exactly. There you go. Nation's favourite. Yeah. There you go. There See you go. Thank you very much. Beautiful. OK, in there, slices. Yes, you don't need to cut out a little disc. Roscoe's getting a little bit chefy there. And the other bits of potato, of course, you can keep. You can make a soup okay. or something yeah. like that. I don't quite know what he's going to do with it. Now, what about the old chanterelle car carrots, then, Ross? Uh, the, the, uh... the vichys, they mm. get it, well, it's only blanch them first because we don't have time. The idea is you cook them very slowly yeah. with a little bit of water, some butter and some, uh, and some sugar, a little bit of orange juice, and they cook down into being really, really sweet. But yeah. We're slightly short of time, so I'm not quite sure how they're going to okay. turn up. We've got the lamb cooking oh. with the plums here. <laughs> that pepper got right up my nose. I think the lamb is done mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. Pull the lamb out so it can rest. Very important so it stays nice and... Nice and uh, Okay. And tasty. Now, the plums there, we're going to add a little red wine, some yeah. red wine vinegar, a little sugar, some spices, and make a sauce. What type of sugar, Chef? Ooh! Oh. Uh, a little brown, please. Brown okay. salt. And I think perhaps a little bit of cinnamon or thereabouts. Now, it's important to put the, the vinegar in as well, because that's going to bring us up... Um, Cut okay. down on the, on the okay. being over Lovely, sweet. lovely, lovely. Cinnamon, here we are. Just, and there's a the cinnamon for you. Thank you so much. Lovely. Well, I'll go down and see Brian. I'll come back. And later on, when we return, we'll see how Ross is getting on with all his beautiful plum yeah, sauces and, and everything. Please. But first, we're down here with Brian. He's cooking uh, the disc. He's got these big, fat discs of sweet potato. Right. Charging them in the pan. They'll cook there beautifully. We've already yeah. got the chicken that's going to be cooking down. What's going on here, then, Chef? OK, so we've got our little... Uh, this will be our, our cream sauce here, leeks. We've got white wine here, we've got the chicken. I'm trying to cook this here, but I'm not getting this cauliflower cooked okay, quickly. OK, it's not coming up quick enough, but It Jeff. will be fine in a second. OK. This is to just make our little salad. We're going to grill this when I've got these grilled over. How long have you got? Oh, about 11 minutes oh, now. OK, we're not too bad, then. These are just nice. I'm going to put these in the oven in a minute just to bake. We we'll perhaps mm. a little bit of that mould and sea salt on top of it. Mm. And then use this pan again for the cauliflower. We're going to, we've got our stir-fry here, our yeah. soup's on the way. Right, that's it, Chef. Right, now, you're going to be uh, making some bread crumbs, bread crumbs I believe. That's you right. want to trim that down a little bit more, then, Carl? Mm. This one here. Yeah, let me, let, me, let me show you. Just trim, trim off this. Ah, Because these are the uh, sort of tough bits. You probably pans. doesn't want those. So how did you get into and bingo calling, on it? Just put the, well, chop the cheese uh, on the plate with the bread crumbs. It's quite reactions, actually. I used to be an actor, and I was between right. jobs. And my sister came to live with me in London, where I was staying. Yeah. And uh, she wanted a summertime job, so I took her down to a local job centre. And it was oh, while we were looking for a job for her that I came across an ad for a bingo call. 
because I thought, yeah. well, between acting jobs, why don't I try this out? You know, I've got my stage, my audience. My Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's what I thought about doing it. Mm. Yeah. And what was the secret, uh, you know, behind the being a good bingo caller then? Well, I think the most important thing is clarity of voice. Mm. You've got to be able to control a session. You've got to be interesting. You've got to get people interested in the game, playing. Yeah. And uh, you've got to know what you're doing, basically. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. If you, don't, if you don't know what you're doing, they won't. You've got to be able to count as well, easy. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. No, okay. I can't. I can't survive that. So tell us, um, this the, you know, the old style is legs eleven and yes, all that. Yes. Yes. Doctor at the gate number eight. Seaside bingo, as I call it. Okay. Uh, so what is it like now? Give us an well, idea. It's, How it's would very, you very call, different. Out, call out four or five numbers for us? Well, it's very different. If we have a game like the National game, yeah. uh, it's played uh, across the country National and it's played for massive, massive money, £200,000 uh, sometimes. So you've got big, to call it money. very, very seriously. You mustn't take any, have any laughs or jokes because people want to concentrate on playing bingo. Yeah. And so, for example, I'd say, uh, National game, folks, uh, straight full house, uh, get your pens at the ready. Here we go, your first number is 44. All the fours, 44. Yeah. Without waving the knife at that. Yeah. 33, all the threes, 33. Yeah. That sort of thing. That yeah. type of thing. Yeah. Okay, just nice and bright and and changing into kind of a different voice. That's okay. right, yeah, altering the level of the voice. Yeah, thing, sure. Yeah. Okay. Keeping it interesting. Oh, we're we'll talking a minute again. Chef, right. enough cheese in there with the breadcrumbs. Uh, no, do a bit more, please. Let me get a really cheesy uh, lining on this, because we've got all that wonderful cheese, so we may as well use it. OK, the and yeah, char grilling off the cauliflower too, guys, OK? He's got yep. that in there. Any spices or anything going to be mixed with that, I'm going to perhaps make some... When I've got it going, I'll put a little bit of curry powder in there, perhaps a bit of vinegar and oil, and leave it so it's like a little salad you dig. Yeah. But, and it'll be warm. It won't be hot, but it won't be cold either, so it'll sure. be really... Do you want me to carry on cut I think it's enough, actually. I think we're probably going to have enough there. Eight, eight minutes to go. So what did you have to do in order to win this uh, bingo caller of the year, was it? Well, the competition split up into three different sections. Yeah. Uh, the first section consisted of uh, my knowledge being tested, uh, legislation, games and regulations uh, in the bingo industry. Oh, wow. I was tested by a panel of four judges. Yeah. The second uh, section was basically um, having to entertain the crowd for three minutes. So I sang part of a joke and I sang uh, part of a song and I, I told a joke as well. And uh, did you dress up to sing the song well, and all that? I was wearing the uh, cool white suit, the zoot the suit. The white yeah, suit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have um, you got a white <laughs> suit, Brian? I think I gave it away. I think he's got <laughs> it. <laughs> and then the final section was basically calling your numbers, a page of bingo. Oh, really? Yeah. So, uh, Mandy, I've got to ask you, was it the white suit that swung the vote for us? Well, I, I wouldn't quite call swinging, but it was swing! Was it? <laughs> yeah, oh, you gave her a little Love bit. Ooh, <laughs> swing! Great. Just get me some like flour, please. Some flour. Okay, flour's just there. Flour? You've got self-raising flat, plain flour. Any flour, any flour. Any no problem. Plain flour. Ah, that's okay. Plain flour. Okay, we've got seven minutes to go. The chef's char grilled off the uh, cauliflower there. Very easy. You can put that in there. You can put it in a dry frying right. pan with a char griller because the little grooves underneath it just allows a little bit more and air to sort of circulate around. You get that lovely char effect. Yeah, sorry. Put it into this bowl. Okay, uh, and uh, what about the soup over here, Chef? Soup's looking good. It's just ticking away. Is that will come last minute? We'll look after that. Okay, and this what's in there? This is ready, so that's okay. Pull out of there. Okay. This chicken. I'm just going to cook a little bit more. That's almost ready to go. We've All got right. the teriyaki on there. All right, that's cooking down uh, we've lovely. Got the salad on here. Want some? Uh, right, if you bring some herbs mm. down, please. Some okay, herbs. so what's got into the soup, Chef? Tell me the ingredients into for the that. Soup. Yeah, we've got leek, we've got chicken stock, we've got chicken bone, we've got sweet potato, uh, and that's probably what we've got. OK, all of we'll that's going the bone in there, that's going to be cooked down. Bone before you serve it. There's your breadcrumb, Chef. Thank with you, With the chef. cheese, let's get back down to Ross. OK, so we've, we've blanched those, that's our carrots. Yeah. What, what sort of variety do you call them? Chantenay. Chantenay, OK, not, not too many of those. Bit of butter, bit of sugar, we'll put some orange juice in there. Mm. But the clever thing we're going to do is yeah. we're going to make a cartouche to cover it rather than using a lid. Sometimes you're short of a lid. Um, would you be so kind as to put the zest and, and half a juice of an orange in there, please, for me, Mandy? Uh, okay. Oh, here we are, my darling. Um, there we so, are. And sometimes you're, you're short of a, of, uh, of a lid for a pan yeah. or whatever. Into the carrots, yeah? Yes. Yeah, please, thank you. There we just are. It's clean turn. Yes, yeah, just yeah. Mind, yeah. mind the nails. Piece of paper, yeah. into half, into four, into eight, OK? Yeah. Take your kitchen scissors, cut across the top, circle of paper. There you go. Look at that. There you go. Round of applause. Yeah, Why not? Know? There you go. Also good for uh, cakes. Okay. That's, that's enough, darling. Just you want the orange juice there? Yeah, we are. And, and the orange juice is going there too. So we've got the butter, we've got the zest and of the orange should just, going They should there. just cook and evaporate away. There you okay, go. OK, lovely. Mmm. That's that. really Super. coming together. Lovely. Thank you very and much. that's the caramelised onions. onions. We're going to make a marmalade later. We've got our okay. braised hot pots going very nicely Have a here. look at those guys. They've browned up beautifully. A little bit of sugar in there. Let that come down. And that's just... Love. You can put a bit of chilli in there if you want. 
throw a few herbs in there, anything you like. That's the basis of it, and the chef's going to finish that off later. All right, now, what about big money? How much can people win? He talked about £200,000 on a national scale. What's the average kind of uh, night down there like? Uh, an average night, you can win anything in an afternoon from 20000 up to... Uh, 200,000, like yeah. Carl says, but uh, you can win, you know, 100 pounds yeah. or, you know, 200 pounds, or you can go home with nothing more than you went with. But oh, no, don't matter, you've had a good part. time. That's true. So, when you've been working, when you've been calling, what's, uh, how much have you had to we've, dish out? We've actually had two 50,000 pound winners within a fortnight, oh, just wow. just last year. Uh, there was one young girl, she's yeah. about 23, mm. she's only been a couple of times and scooped 50,000 pounds on the National Bingo Ooh. game. And do they get excited? Do they jump up and down? And my mum used to jump, and my mum was quite big on top, so everything used to move. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody else used to jump yeah, as well. Everybody else used to move too. It was quite funny, actually. Yeah, they've all got their own thing. Some people obviously are more excitable than others. Yeah, yeah, but, I know. Uh, yeah. Everybody goes for a good That's time. It, yeah, you go for a generally good time yeah. with your friends. Yeah, excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, what about this uh, trip that he's going on? Uh, he's won what? Uh, you, you, win a, you win the trophy, yeah. and he goes off to Vegas. You won last year, so yeah. what's it like? I, being responsible. I had my trip to Las Vegas yeah. last year. You get uh, a few days in LA first, yeah. so yeah. you get to see uh, how it's done over there, and then you get to go to Vegas, see the high life, mm. and you get to call a game at a club out there in Vegas, which oh. was uh, very interesting. It's a bit nice, and you have a little bit of a gamble too, didn't you? Well, yourself? I mean, you have to. You're yeah, there. You must. If you're there, go to all the shows. <laughs> it's just a necessity. It's an amazing place, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's fabulous. I don't care. Anyone says Las Vegas is just the, the big, yeah. you know, the Somewhere stratosphere, that whatever it is. We're definitely going to go back. Yeah, to, it's just yeah. so much to yeah. do. <clears throat> very, very entertaining. Ladies and gentlemen, we are talking about uh, lamb over this side. We've got about two. Oh, Look at, ooh, how much is going in there? Just a little bit, a little bit, just to thicken. The, the, that's the cooking juices. How much okay. time have we got, Ainsley? Oh, literally about three minutes. Okay, that's perfect. We put a little bit of water in there. Stock mm -hmm. would be ideal. Mm -hmm. Normally it's cooked with stock, but um, I, th I quite like wine. Uh -huh. Wine and lamb sounds quite good. Just put a little bit of water in there, just to thin it down. Okay, did you see that? that? A little bit of, you've got all the juices and everything else, a little bit of water, a yeah. little the bit of flour, the, that acts as a the onion, thickening agent. Yeah, the onion contains things that are actually going to help to thicken it as well. So okay, great. we've got that beautiful plum, you've got toasted sesame seeds. For our, for our Just toasted them off a little bit, putting the oils out of them. Every nut has got oil in it, guys, okay? Every time you put a nut, you don't need to put any oil in the pan. Just leave it in a dry pan, that will naturally kind of brown beautifully. And it improves the flavour no end. It's and good. look at these, look at these, they're sizzling away. Look at those, they're going to glaze up really, really beautifully. So we've got our carrots, chanterelle carrots there, vichy carrots as the chef likes to uh, call them, and a bit of beautiful bits of meat. Can you Let's find out what's going down here then. Two minutes to go now, chef. All right, can I help you there? Just trying to get that. There we are, right, that's got a cooking. there. Okay. Can I look in that grill and see if that's all right for me underneath the grill, will you please, chef? Okay, uh, grill, yeah, it's on, chef, and it's browning as we speak. Okay, ah, that's what like. Lovely. How are you doing down there? All right, right I'm doing OK, yeah. Oh, fabulous. Yeah. So you're looking forward to Vegas? You're looking forward to the trip and everything? I am looking forward to it very, very much. It's mm. not just Vegas, it's, it's Los Angeles as well. Yeah. So it's, uh, and two are you able to take your family with you? Or? Yes, I am. Yeah. Very lucky. I'll take my wife with me, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a trip of a lifetime, isn't it? It certainly is. For hey, man, you've got yeah. to be responsible for all the bingo around the country for the next year. Well, that's right. Good luck to you, mate. And I get to call over there as well. I know, excellent. OK, let's just turn that chicken over there. Let's try to finish that off very quickly for our chef. All right, that's all coming together. OK, coming up for the minute mark any moment now, guys. Start thinking about your food, how you're going to present it. Our chef's already started here. Look, we've got the gorgeous chicken that's been cooked down, the cream sauce with the leek and everything else, the teriyaki chicken. Uh, at the moment, the chef's pulling out the sweet potatoes. They've been char-grilled, finished off in the oven. So all sorts of lovely things really coming together. Everything's out of the oven. Is that, oh, no, is that all right in the bottom? Yeah, I'm sure it is. All right, you've got that... Have you got yourself a glass of wine yet, Carl? Go on then, mate. Help yourself. Yeah, of course you have. Red or white? Help yourself. Let's have a look in here. There we are. Cauliflower cheese, chef. Out here we are. That's looking perfect. And we're green tree on there. Okay, let's get these out of the way. All right, audience. Remember, you are voting for what the chef did with the ingredients they are given. Think about that before you hold up that card. How creative have they been? Have really, they deserved really your vote? Chervil. All right, hmm? Chervil. Nice Chervil. there we are, there we are, a little bit. Where do you want it, Chef? A tree on the, on the plums, please. A tree on the plums. Nine, Nine eight, eight, seven, eight, six, six, five, four, three, three two, one. one. Stop! <laughs> wow. Smells good in this kitchen today.
And to remind you of what our chef started off with in their bags, Brian Turner has four chicken thighs along with a large sweet potato, a whole cauliflower, some cheddar cheese, red pepper and a leek, whilst Ross Burden had lamb chunk chops, a large potato, some chanterelle carrots, runner beans, plums and a large onion. Well, ladies and gentlemen, over with Ross, we got some lovely lamb stew, and over with Brian, we got a teriyaki chicken for you. Is yeah. that all right, Fantastic. eh? That Great. sounded like the kind of theme that you use. That's isn't right, little go lingo, yeah. Pick up your own. Nothing like it. Oh, Brian, I'm trying. I you know, know what I mean, mate. Tell us what first. you're going to call it. Well, here it comes, here it comes. Number, it's number one. It's Kelly's Eye, it's Chicken Thigh. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, see? It's yeah. delicious. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. Now, what did you do with it, Brian? How did you capture all these lovely flavours? Well, then? I have to say, we had a very good bag. There was bags of it. It'd be lovely to have a bit more time. Mm. So we've got little starters here. We've got the chicken broth here, because any bit we had spare, we threw mm. into the chicken broth. Sweet potatoes, leeks, chicken stock, bit of wine in there. Oh, we've got cauliflower cheese here made just with uh, egg, uh, egg yolks and double cream in this roast pepper. That worked extremely well. This mm. is a little cauliflower salad. Olive oil, white wine vinegar, curry powder, coriander, and then just grilled warm cauliflower. Mm. Then we get to the main course. We've got this chicken in the, cr in the cream sauce. It'd be nice with sherry. We've got white wine in there. We've got leeks in there. Oh, Lots of flavour, chicken stock and cream. Mm -hmm. This night, so look at the colour of that here. It's got bags of cheese on it in the breadcrumbs. It's just pan fried. We mm. bashed it out. It's got lemon juice, butter yes. and uh, parsley around the top. A little bit of the cauliflower sauce here. Mm -hmm. For the vegetarians, if they turn up, then we've got this here. We've just got <laughs> sweet potatoes, <laughs> cauliflower cheese. Thinking of everybody all the time. That's me. Yeah. And then we've got here again. Oh, he's moved. It's gone back over here. Mm. The chicken teriyaki. Look at the colours on that. It's got that charred effect. It tastes so... So you've got three fantastically different colours, different flavours. Stir fry under there. Should have put some garlic in there. Mm. Forgot. <laughs> OK, lovely. Doesn't matter. It's delicious. Absolutely yeah. delicious. You're happy with that? Mm. Love it. Mm. Brilliant. There you go. All right, he's on fire. And mm. what about you, Mandy? Are you ready? Yes, I'm yeah, ready. OK, you pick up your cutlery and have a bit of a go, my love. Now, Chef, tell us what you're going to call this. It's not just a full house we've got here, it's beam go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, good. Does it taste nice? That lamb's fantastic, yeah. Yeah, and how did you make that lamb so juicy and luscious? Then? OK, well, we did two ways. First, we, we pan-fried this one, and, that's, and then when it was coming out to rest, we put the plums just in to really absorb the flavour. Oh, some red wine, red wine vinegar, a little bit of cinnamon, a mm. little bit of salt and pepper, so you've got a lovely sort of glazer. You can see from the sugar it's going to mm. go really glazy, mm. which is going to go well with the red meat, nice. on some nice buttered beans. You've got that nice linear arrangement there. Yeah. The other one we browned, and then we braised it with lots of onions and, and, and garlic and salt and pepper and mm. white wine. Just cook, cook that down nice and gently, like a hot pot. And because we didn't have time, we've got our wonderful... And if we turn these over, you'll see the pomelo is brown on both sides. We've got these wonderful discs of potato, as Betty would make. OK. We took the leftover beans, we shredded them. They've been blanched very quickly, so they're not too raw, because we mm. don't have enough time, with olive oil, uh, orange juice, carrot, toasted sesame seed and some chervil. The carrots we blanched, and then they were done mm. vichy style with the orange fabulous. juice and what have you, a little bit of orange... Uh, lem uh, onion marmalade to go with it. So, yeah. From, from, this just shows you how versatile most food is. But so simple, lovely, simple ingredients, but uh, what do you think, overall this opinion? plum sauce is fantastic. Yeah? yeah? Will you make it? We have a go at it at home? Not as good as Ross, obviously. Oh, <laughs> take him home <laughs> with you, <laughs> love. Take him home with you. Ross coming up the stairs. There we are. We like that. <laughs> now, ladies and gentlemen, we've heard about what they think of it, but what about our studio audience? Is it going to be a green pepper day or a red tomato one? Let's find out as we ask all of our audience to please vote now. And up they go. Oh, you can see today. Yes, it's a green pepper day. It's all going to you, isn't it? Oh, it's fantastic. The year continues. Okay. Absolutely. Have a fantastic time in Las Vegas. Thank Welcome you very much. Money there. Oh, great. And good luck. I really Thank hope you it goes well for you, my man. Pleasure Thank having you. you on the programme. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much indeed, Chef. Always now. a pleasure. Well, there you go. It's his turn, isn't it, eh, you darling? Can't win all the time. You, you can't win all the time. You're <laughs> going home with a no knowledge of that lovely plum yeah. sauce. Thank, Thank you for coming along. And you also, you have the beautiful Ready Steady Cook hamper. That's going to be a bit of a treat in your kitchen. Worthwhile indeed. Have you enjoyed it? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Thanks for coming and telling us all about, you know, what's happening in the bingo halls of the world. It's okay. great. Thank what, you very bingo much. halls of Britain. Indeed. Absolute pleasure. Couldn't Lovely have lost to a more talented man. <laughs> there we are. Come and well join us over Carl. here. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> it's quickie bag time. Say a very big thank you to Carl and Mandy. <laughs> Come on, boys. Come on. Let's see what our lads can do with this little lot.
Right. Ooh. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit of a veggie bag today, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the lovely soba buckwheat noodles. Delicious. If you haven't tried them before, even if you're not veggie, they really are lovely. We've got some ginger, fresh ginger stemmed. Um, and, of course, the uh, bean shoots there. Big bag of cashew nuts. Uh, tofu. Mmm, OK. Bean curd there. The pomelo, which is a very similar to a grapefruit. Not as juicy, but uh, very much in the same sort of style. And uh, some salad onions. Well... Well, I don't <laughs> think I should bother talking about this. <laughs> that is so built for you, is yeah, that? It is, yeah. Well, you've got to have a go, though, Brian. Oh, no, I'm going to have a go, yeah. yeah. Right, what do you think? Shall I go first, then? Why not? You, <laughs> you wow these wonderful people. Um, pomelo will make a salad out of. Mm. It's 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 um, not as as it's a bit drier than a grapefruit. We'll make a salad out of mm. that and dress that with a gingery soy sort of dressing. We often dress mm. it with coconut milk. We don't have anything like that. We'll also grind a few sesame seeds into that with some of the ginger. We'll deep fry the tofu um, in cubes, and we'll dress that again with ginger juice, a little soy, some of the spring onions, a little scallion, and some and some chives. Mm -hmm. We can make a broth of sorbet noodles with soy and stock. And seeing there's so many cashew nuts there, it might be quite nice to deep fry some cashew nuts as mm. well, actually. Toss them in salt. Uh, if we had time, we could make spring onion panko. I mean, it's just... It's, it's my menu, really, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, will you put your red... Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Brian. Um, what... And what about you, Chef? <laughs> well... Grapefruit cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oranges, I can do Florida cocktail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, we could probably cut it in half. We could char grill part with a bit of some kind of spice on top mm -hmm. of it. We could take the rest out and make a little herb scallion salad with a few bean shoots. We could um, stir fry uh, the tofu with the bean shoots. The Why don't you do it? <laughs> Well, there you go. So our <laughs> chef's given us one or two ideas. Is he right? <laughs> Has Brian given them enough information to capture this uh, vote? Penelope Pen Mornay. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's find out. OK, audience, what's it going to be? Green peppers or red tomatoes? Will you all please vote now? <laughs> I love them. <laughs> well, Brian, I'm sorry to say, mate. <laughs> Do you think you weren't going to come to work this morning? I was almost there, there. I was almost there. <laughs> hey, it's a Ross Burton bag. Yay. Let's get cooking. <laughs> <laughs> OK, Chef, your ten minutes cooking time starts now. Let's do it. Uh, Brian, if you'd be so kind as to do the fiddly stuff, um, half deep fried, half grilled, please. Julian and half gin, Julian and half juice, please. OK, can you manage that? Lovely. What and could I do for you, Chef? If you could segment that for me, please, and deal I with the spring will. onions. Here green... we are. I'll do it down here. Okay. I like being nice and okay, close to you, Ross. You know and that. Green shredded, white chopped, please. OK, no problem. OK, well. need to get some hands on with some mm -hmm. hot water. And what are you going to be starting with, Ross? Uh, sorry, what am I going to do? Yeah. I'm going to put all the rest of it together and do the dressing. Beautiful. And if you have a look here, uh, tell us a little bit more about the old pomelo. I, I said at the top, it's not as juicy as a grapefruit, but uh, it's much more a Malaysian, it's not sour. Malaysian or Asian type. Uh... Generally, Southeast Asian. So yeah. if, you know, it's across from, goes everywhere from um, sort of Vietnam, Laos, all the way down to Malaysia. Mm hmm. Okay, very much associated with the citrus family, isn't it? Yeah, it's sort of the biggest of the citrus family. I'm going to make some water for Brian. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's oh, it's a pink one. Normally the normally the green. It's a very nice light thing to have for breakfast. Mm -hmm. um, it's often made into salads. I mean, normally do it with a coconut dressing, a red red curry coconut dressing in Thailand. Okay, uh, it's delicious, delicious stuff. All right, and it's, it's, in between that little membrane here, all I'm doing one, is kind of... Sorry, it's one of those things that out. started to sort of appear, you know, in the supermarkets. It's not as... It used to be you had to go to a super, uh, Chinese supermarket to buy them, and now they seem to be quite everywhere. I know, they are. Uh, is that a good thing, you think, Ross? Oh, completely. Mm. I mean, I, I do believe in buying British and, and having as few food miles as possible, mm -hmm. but it is quite nice to pep you know, British produce up with a few things from abroad sure. as well. And what about you, uh, Brian? Have you ever used pomelos? Is it something that uh, you consider? Played tennis with them once. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really. I mean, I have, I've had them, but it's not something I use very often. I played tennis with them. Also, I know that was Pamela. <laughs> 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 I'd say that's quite oh, a small one, Luke, Ainsley. Yeah. They, they grow to being quite quite big chaps. Is okay. that the same family? Is it is it ugly fruit? And Yeah, exactly, yeah. A couple of minutes gone already now, boys. OK, and what about the old bean curd that you're chopping up? Tell us a little bit about that, Ross. Uh, well, this is nice firm bean curd, so it's good for frying. It should puff up a little bit. And um, so you can get different varieties, some of them much yeah, some, softer. Yeah, some silk and some's not. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just trying not to have five, four pieces. Five, four is a very bad luck number, so mm -hmm. I'm cutting the rest up. That's going to go into our broth with our sorbet noodles. Gonna have to, the thing about Asian food is being organised. I'm going to be a little bit organised over here. We're going to do a lovely... Uh, once the sorba is cooked, we can do a cold um, salad with it as well. That's why sorba is so good. They make mm -hmm. great broth and they also make... Normally use the udon, 
I and mean, they've got funny names, I know, but mm. once you get used to using these things, they well, really are... Udon's a thick white variety, yeah, isn't they're it? made from rice flour. This is made from buckwheat. Buckwheat's okay. the same grain as makes uh, blinis in Russia. Mm -hmm. There you go. OK, all sorts of information, isn't it? Nice, guys. Hey, when you tune into the programme, you also get some information about fruits, where they come from, that type of stuff. OK, right, they're cooked. Now, you want me to shred these up? Did yeah, you say sh this? shred the green and slice the white, please. OK, lovely. So, what, what is, it? is this a traditional...? Because I've actually seen, when I uh, go to all those sort of Asian countries, they have this type of thing available for breakfast. Is it uh, something you'd probably...? Yeah, bacon and eggs is not that popular in the, in the, in the South and South Asia. Yeah. Um, so they will have noodles for breakfast? Yeah, they? quite often. When I was in Vietnam earlier last year, um, bre the traditional breakfast is called pho, mm -hmm. with P-H-O circumflex, but it's a, a rich, um, deep broth, and the broths they make for, for ages. It's wonderful stuff. OK. Um, and it's flavoured either with beef or, or chicken, but it's noodles and very deep broth. It's a very good way to start the day, actually. There you go. Um, OK. Let's say, a fur, strange enough, comes from the French word fur, meaning fire, uh -huh. because the French were there for a long time, and they used to um, make, the, make the broth overnight and just leave it to, to um, sit, in the same way that curfew comes from the French curfew, which is to cover the fire, which is when, when you went to bed. Oh, wow. He's a clever wow. lad, isn't he? Eh, he boy? is. He's, what. he's got all sorts of information. Oh, it's always got interesting. got imagination. <laughs> <laughs> Good imagination. Now, tell us about dipping the tofu into fella. Now, traditionally, I like to sort of dip it through a kind of few spices and stuff like that and sort of bake yeah. it off in the, the oven. The Why of, are you doing that? Well, the point of this dish is that we want to keep it, um, keep the, the flavour of tofu. I know most people think it's very bland, but this one actually, because it's slightly aged, has some flavour to it. So we're going to dress it with a ginger and lime and soy dressing. So uh -huh. we want to keep it nice and plain so we're not going to interfere with, it, with that flavour. OK, Also, the, the, the dipping in the corn flour just means that you get a bit more of a crust and it just protects it slightly as well. OK, and it should be corn flour instead of plain flour, yeah. should it? just okay. from that lighter, sort of fluffy... Oh, when, you, right. when you dip chicken in, in corn flour and then poach it very briefly, we call it velveting and it gives it for, for stir-frying. Absolutely. That's fantastic. Is that that's, that's perfect. Lovely. That's julienne, much. we call that julienne in the tray. Beautiful strips of ginger there. And we have a cooking question, which comes courtesy of Yvonne Howe from Holland, all the way from Holland. Good afternoon to you, Yvonne. She says, can you give me some advice as how I can make my own dumplings? What about, are you a bit of a dumpling man, Ross? I think, I think the man to talk to is, is, your, is your man over there. The, the Yorkshireman. The Yorkshireman, exactly. Oh, go on then, chef. Good old dumpling. Suet yeah, dumplings just a bit of flour, suet, water, and then something to just season it up. Horseradish works well in there, chopped capers work. Depends what meat you're serving it with. Yeah. But just make sure it's nice, good flour. Bake, uh, uh, Self-raising flour, perhaps some of the baking powder in there, just to give it a bit of lift, and drop it into a good liquor when you're cooking it. Fantastic. That's the okay. best dumpling. OK, boiling liquor. So what do you say liquor, chef? A good stock, then? Stock. Or? It's all about flavour, isn't it? It's, it's only flour and suet, so you want to just lift the flavour as much as you can. OK. Lovely. Is that julienne enough for you then, Chef? That's the absolutely perfect. Strips. Thank you very much. OK, we've got lovely little strips. We've got some rings of onion there. I hope that answers your question, Yvonne. It's, it really is. It's, Brian says you want to introduce flavour into them. You can put little flecks of something into the dumplings, but yeah. of course you've got a sweet dumpling. Tell us a little bit about sweet dumplings then, Ross. Uh, well, I guess you're talking about beignet, the, the, the fried ones. They're more sort of fluffy fried ones, really, mm -hmm. aren't they? I um, have to say I'm not a pastry chef, again, mm. um, but I, I know there are things called bun, bunuelos and there, and there are, are churros, which mm. are things that in Mexico we make. Which are like um, you pipe it into the hot oil and then toss them. They're Absolutely, almost like it's make, more like making a sort of a roux type, uh, not a roux. Uh, yeah, oh, almost a shoe, almost shoe actually. A yeah. shoe. That's the one I was looking for. Chef, what about uh, flavourings for those? Uh, do you want some nice uh, coriander? We're talking some coriander would be super. And a bit of mint. Uh, mint is very good. Yep. Okay, coriander more, um, mint. More Vietnamese, that's great. All right. How then. Um, dry roasted do you want these? Yeah, just lovely. That's great. Okay. And just, t just chopped, chopped roughly, thank you. Yeah. That's just to bring the flavour in, but the deep fried ones are going to be really lovely. OK, I've got some coriander here and I've also got some nice fresh mint. I All of these are just I think lovely. Probably slightly better kept as leaves rather than. Um, the stalk. Yeah, thank you. OK. No, no rather problem. than chopped. All right, just the leaves in there. OK, chef, no problem. OK. Now, Brian, what are you getting up to there, Chef? You've been toasting your nuts, I see, over there. So what have you actually done with them? I've got some chilli on some of them. <laughs> I'm not sure that's going to be too good. Yeah, we just deep-fried the nuts, then we got salt, pepper and chilli. Then I've just dry-roasted these, and I forgot to put chilli on those as well. But okay. very tasty. Lovely. OK. I'm just going to make some uh, ginger juice here. Mm-hmm. OK. Can you start uh, ginger trimming, Chef? Mm. I, I did take them, thank oh, you. Oh, good, OK. OK, I've got this all torn up. Would you, uh, do you want them in there with the pomelo? Uh, no, we'll have a little mint and, and spring onion in there, yeah. a little bit of white, 
Uh, we'll have some coriander only in there mm -hmm. and coriander only in there. OK, that's it. It's good that I've mixed it already then, isn't it? Oh, hey. sorry about that. No, it's all right, chef. Don't worry about it. That's it. A little bit of that. That's it. And just tear those up. Beautiful. Lots of lovely fresh. And how much and ginger juice the, do you uh, want, chef? A uh, mm. couple of tablespoons, if you could. OK, yeah, you can do that. OK, Thank got you. some onion rings going through here. Really make that nice. Yep. What about the... Oh, you've got the sesame seed there. Do you want yep. sesame seed in there, uh, chef? Yeah, oh, that's going to have cashews in it, that one. OK. And so is the one with the, cu with the sprouts in the front. Mm-hmm. OK, that's So we've got cashews, nice. all sorts of nuts used, and they tend to incorporate lots of nuts into Asian-style cooking, and it really is... Not only are you adding protein, you're adding a different type of <laughs> texture, so when you yeah. bite into it, you get the soft, the smooth, the crunchy, all those type of things going on. Oh, right, lovely. All coming together. Right, how about those nuts? Oh, Can I take some of them? Yeah. Moses. OK, here we are. <clears throat> All right, both of them with uh, lots of nuts, right. cashews going in here. And there, beautiful. OK, that toss up, that go on, on a plate. Mm -hmm. Sorbet noodles need dressing. OK. That's all sort of tossing together. We've got about 45 seconds okay, now. OK, lovely. All right, then. And what type of dressing do you want on here, Chef? Uh, just some... I, I can give you some lime juice. OK, bit of lime and juice. And sesame oil, a little bit of soy. Ginger okay. juice. Thank you lime so much. Juice. That's there great. you go. Bit of lime juice going okay. in there. Anything's going to be deep fried or not? No, no, it's all done. OK. Bit more lime juice. Uh, sesame soy... Uh, sesame... Sesame, sesame here we are. Thank you. Frank Cash, let's go, go in one of those bowls over there. Thanks, Frank. There you go. A little bit of soy sauce. Here we go now. Help me count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. a lovely, simple way of sort of eating food, really. Tell us how you... Well, first, I need a name, of course, Ross. Um, sprouts. Mm. I've had a few. Then again, tofu to mention. Oh, no! Oh, clever, 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 clever. Good. I like that. Tell us what you do with your ingredients. <laughs> OK, first of all, the tofu, I guess, is the hero. We, we, we took it and um, it doesn't need marinating mm -hmm. uh, because we uh, tossed it in the corn flour, deep fried it. You can see it's gone fluffy. That's dressed with soy and ginger juice, a little fish sauce if we had some, spring onions, mm -hmm. um, coriander and what have you. It's very light and the, the lightness is going to absorb. Actually, lots of lovely protein in there, too. The, the rest of the tofu we put into the broth. Now, the broth is chicken stock flavoured with a spring onion trim Mm -hmm. Garlic, um, Brian's uh, garlic trim uh, ginger trimmings. Boil it up, pour it over the, the cooked noodles. There's also spring Come onions on, in I'm there. Try. It's incredibly good for you. Spring mm. onions and, and what have you. Not much time. Tell us briefly about the okay. noodles. So, so cooked sober noodles with uh, spring onions oh. and, and cashews and, and what have you for, for flavour. Pomelo salad again. It's those really fresh things. And I dressed it with lots of ginger juice. Ginger juice is something you should all get used to. Ginger juice, soy and, and sesame makes anything bland taste fantastic. And obviously we have the deep fried cashews as well, which are delicious. Wonderful. One for all available on our website ladies and gentlemen, and I promised you a chance to win a beautiful £300 gourmet hamper today. And, uh, of course, our lovely Leslie has got the question for you. Over to you, Les. Lasagna traditionally comes from which country is it? A, Morocco, B, Thailand, C, Italy. To be in with a chance of winning, call 0901 1110810. That's 0901 1110810. Lines close at midnight and calls cost 25p. Whoa, one of you are going to win a wonderful hamper. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm, lots of you can find out how to make this lovely food. As I said, check out CFAX or our website from Brian, Ross and myself. See you soon on Ready, Steady, Cook. Bye-bye. <laughs>